Can I show you guys something? Without you following me and getting in trouble. So check this out. This is what I learned from someone, okay? I'm pumping gas. And back in the day when I used to pump gas, I would turn the car off. And then a cop buddy of mine told me that it's policy for them when they pump gas in their cop car to never turn it off because they could get a call at any minute. They don't have time to fill up the tape. They got to just boom, jump in the car and roll it out. And uh, they've been doing that for 15, 20 years and the car has no problems. So he started doing it with his personal car. So right when he's done, he could jump in the car and hop out. Don't even have to turn the car back on and uh, no problems with his car. So I started doing it too. So my car is on right now and uh, I've had no problems and it actually makes it way faster. You would think all you have to do is turn the car on, but uh, you just jump in the car and you put in drive and you're ready to go. And um, I don't know where that urban myth came from. You guys remember that urban myth? Like I remember if someone specifically telling me when you're at the gas station, turn off your car. And now I'm thinking back and I'm like, I don't even know if that's like a real thing or is it urban myth or is it the law? Like, I don't even know. But don't follow me. Keep doing what you've been taught because I may not be the best example. And another urban myth is, uh, you know how people always say, um, don't turn on the lights while you're driving, you'll get a ticket. I found out that that's not a, a actual law. People turn on their lights inside the car at night all the time while they're driving. If they drop something, they gotta look for something, they gotta look real quick. It's not against the law. I don't know where all these driver urban myths came from. It is so weird. I really don't know. Just picked up some gas station coffee while I was pumping gas. Just cause it still feels kind of chilly and uh, I wanna get warmed up. I am on day two of testing that new pre-workout I was telling you guys about. So I don't want to alter how I feel by having an additional dose of caffeine. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll take uh, my coffee and I'll just take half a dose of the pre-workout so I don't go, Ooh! don't too, go too crazy. So check this out, I just finished gassing, right? I think one thing I did notice that you can't do is you can't top off. So it just clicked. So, oh yeah, so it barely tops off because usually it's a little bit longer than that. And then, the hell? Okay. So pull it in, put it away. Obviously I'm filming so I'm really slow. But I put this on and my wrist is hurt so I can't move that fast. And it's my left hand because I'm right handed. Boom. Get in the car, right? Close the door and bam, the car is moving. I love that. I don't have to get in the car. And then still, uh, I don't know what it is. It's just that one extra step makes it feel so slow. Oh, cool. Oh, I thought it was the same exact car as mine. I always like seeing other people with the same car, but it's not, it's a different one. Damn, it's foggy like crazy today, huh? Look at my driver's side. Camera see shit. Well, actually it's clear on camera. How is that possible? How is that possible? How is it possible to have steam or fog or whatever the hell that is and be clearer on camera when the camera is another layer of lens. What in the world? Yeah, I, I, can make, I can actually make out what's in on the screen of the camera. I can't really make it out in real life. This is freaking nuts. What do you guys know about this song? play too much of it because then uh, YouTube's gonna get in trouble and do the whole algorithm thing and then say that I copyrighted the whole song or something so I can't play the whole thing. Funk has been my favorite music for a long long time. There's no other music that I can hear and it just immediately gets one of your muscles in your face and goes uh and you're just like uh what the fuck is that? Oh it just hits you in the soul. Oh shit it's crazy, man. It's like fucking a spiritual being just comes in your body and takes it over. And it's like, it's so hardcore, but it's also so goofy and fun at the same time. Listen to it one more time. Oh, 
I feel like my body couldn't rock any harder. I wish I could rock it harder, man. So recently, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, at Bart Kwan, Ma Bear bought me tickets to a funk concert to all my favorite bands, Zap. Uh, one way wasn't there, but uh, pretty much the top guys. Because I think one way, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't want to diss any of these old school cats. I think they were like a one hit, uh, one hit or quitter. But Zap, Daz Band, SOS, uh, Cameo, Morris Day, all the top dudes were there. And it was so, so sick. And I haven't listened to funk in a long time because I think I might have like got burnt out from it because back in the JK days me and Joe loved funk that's all we played at the all the old school JK fans would know at the end of the videos before they sat the whole copyright thing would play uh, Curtis Mayfield's Move On Up you know that song so move on up oh fuck that was way off key holy shit so move on move on move on up so move on up Something like that. I'm not no singer. I fucked it up. But you guys know that song. It's the. It's also the same song that Kanye sampled for his song. Da, da, da. I just. I'm literally just singing the same exact thing I just sang. But played that, and then in one of our original songs we made called "Delicious Journey." Remember, every day after school, do you know what we do? We go around from town to town. That that song, right? We're talking about snacks and stuff. At the end of it, we go. Come along and ride on the delicious journey. That's homage to Lakeside. Remember uh, Lakeside's, I mean, I'm, I'm saying remember like you guys are all 70 year old black people. Uh, there's a, one of my favorite bands, Lakeside, they have a song called Fantastic Voyage. And um, it goes, come, al come along and ride on the fantastic voyage. So we paid homage to them. But man, I forgot how much I missed funk until I went to the concert and it just revived all these feelings that I have. So you better believe this week at Bar Bar Brigade, I'm gonna be dropping that heavy funk. That heavy, heavy, heavy funk that your body can't rock hard enough to. Mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm gonna do? When the second baby's born, I'm gonna play funk so Gio can fucking push harder. <laughs> And I'm gonna name that baby Funky. Taika and Funky Kwan. I think there's a ring to it. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you think we should name our second kid Funky. <laughs> so you guys know how I really, really want to do an amateur fight this year. So both my coaches, PJ, my boxing coach, and also Ron, my kickboxing coach, they said it's time for you to get a real mouthpiece. And shout out to Jeff from Mouthpiece Guy. What's up guys? He's coming to make me a custom mouthpiece. So when I get punched in the face, my teeth don't fall out and I, I don't get knocked out as hard. What are some of the benefits of getting like a custom real mouthpiece? Um, well, there's a lot really. Um, probably the, the first couple benefits you're gonna notice right out the gate yeah. is gonna be the comfort and the breathing. So the breathing. Um, yeah, so like if anybody's had like a regular boiling bite mouthpiece. That's what I have right now. I have a, a cheapy fifteen dollar one, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, they're not real comfortable. You try to breathe with them, they kinda of fall down, you can't, you know, they kind of block the airway. Yeah. Um, but with a custom mouthpiece, and not just ours, any quality custom mouth guard, yeah, um, is gonna stay in place. Yeah. So when you open to gasp for air, yeah, it won't fall that, down. Yeah, it stays in place. Um, and then, like I said, the comfort thing, like, I can't speak on other companies, but I know with ours, you're almost going to forget you've been wearing a mouthpiece. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And if you watch a lot of the fighters that use our mouthpieces, um, like you watch them on TV and stuff, uh, a lot of times they just leave them in in between rounds. So they pop it in before the fight. Because it just feels so they comfy. They take it out after the fight. Yeah. Any fighters like said, that we would know? Or is um, it like yeah. top secret you can't reveal? No, it? no, yeah, we do a lot of uh, high profile guys. So like for boxing, um, one guy that's fighting next week, Mikey Garcia, he's okay. in a huge fight. Yeah. Uh, that's in what, in Texas. Um, Triple G, we've done his Ooh. mouthpiece what, for the last like five years. Does he get a new um, one every fight? No, no, a lot, a lot of guys don't. I wish gets, they would, 
Because it yeah, gets. Right. <laughs> yeah. I wish they would. Yeah, yeah. But no, a lot of guys. Um, some guys do. Some guys are like, you know, new new fight, new mouthpiece. Call me up. Um, but most of the time, um, they just kind of use them for a couple of years, and then okay, it's time to replace it. We recommend replacing it every year, so. Yeah. But if you take care of it real well, it'll last you. Can um, I put a design in mine? You can do almost whatever you want. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, I'm excited. So we're about to show some behind the scenes of how a custom mouthpiece gets made. And uh, do you do that? Do you do this pretty often? Um, well, most of our orders now, which is good, are online. Oh. So we don't even we don't even see a customer's face. Yeah, you know saves the saying? trouble of having to drive places. Yeah, right? yeah. So we ship them the impression kit. They do them themselves at home. Yeah. Um, but you know, for our local customers, um, you know, we got to. Everything starts with uh, the impression of the teeth. Without the impression of the teeth, there is no custom mouth guard. Yeah. It, just, it, it, it won't happen. That's true. So this is pretty much um, step one right here. This is, this is everything. Yeah. I'm glad you're here because I don't trust myself. Yeah. I've, uh, I've, even with the boiled and bites, right. uh, there's, come, there's times where I boiled and bit it, and then my next fitment, I put it on, like, oh, I didn't do it right. So I have to boil it again, right. boil it again. And you can only do it, I think, like, twice before you have to get a new one. And yeah. I'm like, damn it. I wish yeah, someone yeah, yeah. would have just did it for me. And it's like, it's bite right, right the white right, one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, And that, that, that's super common, what you're saying. You know, people don't yeah. trust themselves. Yeah. And I would say, so I'd say about 70, 75% of our customers actually do a good job yeah. that first time around. But there is like a 25, 30% failure rate yeah. where people do screw up one way or another and they have to go and buy another impression kit or buy more putty to do it again. Yeah. Um, but when you're, when you're trying to service somebody, when you're in Los Angeles and somebody from New York wants a mouthpiece from you, that's the only way. Yeah. You know that's what I mean? True, so yeah. there is that little, you know, okay, we can do this. You might screw up, you might not, but if you want one, you know, it, it's this is the doable. Way to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's the first step you gotta do? Well, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the right size impression tray yeah. that fits your mouth. Yeah. Um, everybody's different, yeah. right? Um, so first we'll find your impression tray size, and then we use what's called um, VPS. They shorten, I mean, it's called it's vinyl polysiloxane. It's impression material. Yeah. A any dental office uses this. Yeah. Um, any dental lab uses this. And we actually, um, that's what takes the mold of the teeth. The, the layman's term is mold, right? Yeah. Um, but it's an impression. Oh, and okay. from that impression, um, so what an impression is, is basically like a negative. Oh, yeah. Of, yeah, of, yeah, of yeah. Your entire anatomy, not just the teeth, but the anatomy of your upper arch. Like gums and all that. Yes, yeah. So it's kind of like, um, like when somebody says they spotted a, a Bigfoot in the forest and they found a footprint, right? Mm -hmm. In the mud. Yeah. So it's the same exact scenario. And then when you see what they'll do is they'll take plaster, they'll pour in that Bigfoot footprint in the mud, and then it hardens. And then once they separate it, now it has what's called a positive, which is basically uh, like an exact replica yeah. of the Bigfoot foot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, it's the same, um, it's the same theory. So we're gonna do a negative. From the negative, we, we pour plaster, create the positive, which, which is, is now your cast yeah. of your teeth. Yeah. And from that, we build the mouth guard on Oh, you. I see. Yeah. And that's, I mean, any dental office, any dental lab, this is how it works, right? Yeah. Um, a lot of people now are doing like the 3D scanning and then the digital, um, the 3D printer to create the mold. Yeah. Um, that's just not that accurate. It's yeah, not yeah. as accurate as the impression. Super convenient and it sounds cool, right? Yeah. Um, but this is definitely the most accurate way to get a, a mold of somebody's teeth. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Do people drool a lot? Oh, did they? That's why I asked that guy before. Oh, okay. Kind of lets me know in advance too what yeah. to expect. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, have people thrown up on you before? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, damn. Mostly young kids. Oh. Mostly. But there has been adults that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, and I should have told you this, I just completely spaced out. Yeah. So when somebody um, sets up an appointment to come yeah. to the lab, yeah. I'll let them know, you know, uh, okay, you're scheduled for this time, payment's due in full, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. And also tell them a little tip, which is try to show up on an empty stomach. Oh. If you just ate a big lunch, right? And then, you know, you're taking the impression. Sometimes that the impression does trigger the gag reflex. Oh, okay. And if you just grubbed. Yeah. And now you're gagging with all this putty in your mouth. I mean, you don't want to potentially 
feel like you're gonna vomit. Well, I right. did the right thing. I'm really hungry. Both okay, of my perfect. meals are still right there. Perfect. I haven't perfect. ate anything yet. Good. You, me neither. Good. 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 Let's see, go first. You just is it flavor? Fill the tray. You know what it tastes like? Um, like plastic bubble gum. That's what I've been told. <laughs> plastic bubble. Yeah. Gum. Here. Just a tad more at the top. Well, it's like toothpaste. It's making yeah, good. So I think my bread one. sticks right now. More for the molars. Okay. Get this ready. All right, here we go. Look straight ahead. Open like we practiced. There we go. Just hold still, don't bite, don't move, don't do anything. Just relax. Lower, lower, lower. There we go. Let me get behind. Up. Okay, now just breathe, okay? Just breathe. There you go. Perfect. Good. Just relax. Any pain? Mm-mm. Any gagging? Mm-mm. You good? Mm-hmm. Cool. So three minutes and 40 seconds till we're done. I'm going to say in about another minute or so, I'm going to let go of the tray. Mm -hmm. When I do let go, I'm still going to leave it in the mouth for the remainder, like two and a half minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. When I do that, I need you just to sit still, stay relaxed. Don't do anything with your mouth that might cause the tray to move. As long as you don't, if you just sit still, the tray won't go anywhere, okay? Mm -hmm. Just walk the dude out. Well, that was a really cool experience. I always like it when um, I stick with a hobby long enough to have to level up. So I've had a couple of boil and bite ones, and then I had like some cheap old gloves. And then to be able to like go, oh, you know what? I think I'm getting serious enough where I can invest some good money. I, I feel that way about uh, like shooting. I have some really good guns and uh, it always makes me feel good, you know, that makes me feel like not only did I earn something nice, but I'm dedicated. One thing I do want to get there that's kind of like that that I haven't been able to get is scuba. And because of that, I've only bought fins and some booties. Um, and uh, I want to get to the point where I have full gear, but, you know, I have so many hobbies. I can't, and I got a kid now, so I can't really spend all that time doing things. But if I could even scuba just once a month, that'd be cool then I would get all kinds of gear because you know I me, mean, I love gear, I love dope shit, but I don't, I don't even do that once a month. But since, the, since my certification, I haven't even gone once. I was supposed to go with my, uh, my law enforcement buddies because their team was supposed to go out, but I guess it was hard getting everyone together, so I couldn't do it yet. So yeah, now I'm just eating my meal, back on my meal preps, got some breakfast going on, steak, even though it's like 2 p.m., steak and eggs and potatoes, but I told you, I'm gonna get back on my diet, and guess what? I'm on my diet. <laughs> you know what's so dope? So I'm pretty much here by myself now, right? Like, everyone has left. Hello, anyone here? Nope. Aaron's gone, Evan's gone, Adeem's gone, Justin's gone, Brandon's gone. Um, I don't know if Joe stepped in today. I saw one of his editors step in today. He was in here. But he's gone, and uh, pretty much I'm just here by myself, right? Right? Hey guys, I'm gonna pull my dick out now. See, no one freaked out. So I am here by myself, and that's one of the, what is it called? The cons, well not cons, but it's just, it's one of the obligations as a CEO and entrepreneur is that in addition to working with everyone, you also have to have the strategy, the oversight, overseeing everything, and you gotta put in the long hours, right? Like, what's the, what's the cliche word? You come in before everyone, and then you leave after everyone, so you're here just for most of the thing. And, um, but what's really awesome is that Gio, my mama bear, is such a dope mama, and this is why I love her so fucking much, and if I was less busy, I would have like 10 kids with her, because this is what they're doing meanwhile at home. And she sends these to me, so I feel like I'm not missing out with little Taika Malaika. Check it out.
You're gonna fucking love this. Hold on, the volume's not, the volume's not loud for some reason. Let me, let me readjust this real quick. Oh, it's on low, what the fuck? Okay, check this out. This is what they're doing meanwhile at home. Go, go, go. Woo, He's learning how to play baseball. Ready, set, go. Dos manos, dos manos. Go. Oh. Ready? Go. Good job, Taika. Bikini. See, I get updates like that, and it makes me feel so good. And I'm like, cool. I don't, I don't mind working in this office by myself, cause I get to still see Ma Bear, and I still get to see Taika. I still have about 30 minutes worth of emails that I gotta do um, before I go home, and that's just half the thing that I still have to do. I still gotta do a bunch of work tomorrow, but. I can't wait to see that in person. But I just want to say shout outs to Mom Bear. I don't know if I tell you in person enough, but I really appreciate you. You're a really good mom, and I'm so glad I had a baby with you. Look who came out to receive me as I got home. The Mama Bear Potato with the CUNY Taika. Oh, he wants to calm down. Okay, I'm gonna park. I'm gonna park it really fast. Monkey, dude, I saw you play baseball today. Say hi, Dad. Is Mommy the best baseball coach or what? Hi, Dad. Oh, he wants oh, to come you big cutie. <laughs> okay, come to oh, Papa. He wants oh, he you. Oh, come to Papa. He wants his dad, Dad. Come to Papa. You miss me? Did you miss me, little dude? Oh. oh he's a cutie. Did you miss me? Yeah, he did. I missed you, too. Saw your baseball. I told him about how uh, I love you so much. Cause while I'm at office, I was, I was all alone today after uh -oh. he left. Yeah. And he sent me the baseball clips. I shared it with them. Yeah. And then they're like, I'm mean, not there like, <laughs> but I'm like, how awesome it is. Cause I can't hear what their thoughts are. But yeah. Yeah. Cantale, papa. Cantale. Let's cantale, me. Sing to him. He's singing. Dun, 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 dun. That's a nice song. Bonito canta. I like that song, mister. <laughs> My arm's gonna explode because I keep holding this guy. But what's freaking cuny is I think he misses me, so he wants me to hold him. Watch, I'll, keep, I'll put him down. <laughs> Why do you look like you already know what's gonna happen? Watch. Yeah, put him on the ground, right? Put him on the ground. Watch. Oh, thank you. I have the hat. He goes, uh oh, oh. Thank you. That's his new thing. Put this back on. Put it on the floor and let's see what he does. He'll go, uh oh, oh. No. Uh oh. No. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -oh. Okay, here. Okay, I got it. Okay, got it? Put it on. It's all messed up. No. You want the hat? No. No? Okay. Can Papa eat? No. What do you want, little guy? No. Okay, cool. So that was the first, because earlier he wanted me to hold him. <laughs> what are you doing, sniffing diapers? Freaking little crazy dude. Baba, that's me. Let's put that back. I'm gonna waste it. It's gonna get dirty and rip. I'm gonna waste, you're gonna waste it. I'm gonna put this back over here. Can grab them? Yeah, can you? So I can eat. Yep. Come here, dude. Do you think you can make me one of your world famous blueberry smoothies? I have some calories left today. <laughs> you're gonna huh? blow your mom's brains out. Or blow her eardrums out. What's going on, dude? Okay, he misses me. See, I told you. Come here. Mm. And you guys want to know what my favorite view of him is? So like, I love when I could see him like this close. This is my favorite view, it's like this close. Hey, uh, it's not paparazzi. This is our family channel. Like, it's like this close. Like this, I like when it's like, like this. <laughs> you crazy? 
what the, what the, what the, what the heck is going on? I said, it's a family channel. What is he doing? He's just beating me up. He's beating me up. Ow, what the? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, 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 ow, stop. Ow, ow. Yeah, listen to your mama. Hey, no. You want to get sued? You want to get sued? Hey, <laughs> what the heck? You want to get sued? You want to get sued, little dude? Hmm? I'm going to sue you. I'm going to go to court. Ah, 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 ah. Ben, ayúdame. Ben. Taika is helping Mama make her world famous blueberry smoothie. This is the only way we can get anything done with this kid. He has to help. That's this, skinny. Because if not, he's going to be running around. We're not going to be able to get anything done. So I give in and I let him help me. And yeah. if and you guys have to try this. This is so good. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you ever catch Gio like on the streets, yeah. and she just so happens to have almond milk, a blender, and yogurt, and a banana. Oh, do you use yogurt? Not this time, but I do. I oh, use okay. Greek yogurt. Okay. Yeah, so if you ever catch her on the streets with Greek yogurt in her pockets and some bunch of kale, have her make it for you. It's so good. Marber is a smoothie queen. She's so good. Thanks, baby. You're so nice. Oh, Trying to have a good day, huh? Yeah. Can I tell you a quick update? They saw it already, but you didn't see it yet. What? I got a custom mouthpiece made today. Oh, it happened today? Yes, yeah, so I got my appointment. He came down, and you want to see the logos that I chose? Yeah. You guys haven't seen that yet, so I can show Mom Bear and you guys ha, at, ha, the, ha, ha, ha. Oh, at the same time. At the yeah, same. You, I'll show you first then. I feel like I feel like I'm the wife and they're the side bitches. So this is our first logo, which you can't really see, but it's gonna be on a black mouthpiece. Yeah. So I'll show your face first. Okay. But you know okay. that. Okay. Yep. 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 So you guys can't really see, but it's gonna be the Barbell Brigade logo, white, on a black mouthpiece. And the next one, this one is gonna be on a white well mouthpiece. Done. This one's gonna be a white mouthpiece. Okay. Oh my God, that is so cute. Who made that? Uh, Mark? I have Mark mark mock it up. Oh my god. So, so this funny. is this is gonna be on a white mouthpiece. You're so funny. So I'm gonna have a CUNY bear on the front and I have a Barbell Brigade one. You're so fucking funny. So if I have a fight, maybe I'll wear the CUNY bear one. Who knows? But at least I have a CUNY one. And Mark is our uh, our lead designer at our lead graphics designer at uh, Barbell. It's You're Mamba. so CUNY. You promise? Yeah, I like it. I kind of want those stickers made. Oh. Have them save the design. Oh yeah. You see, folks, and that's how a business happens. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta seek out the opportunities. He's gonna unlock. Uh oh, something. you're gonna unlock it. Here, here, give me this. Give me this. And all the thieves in our back neighborhood. I know. Neighborhood are I know. Okay, we're gonna lock this up. Lock it up. Okay, two boys. Two boys. Guess who got first dibs on my smoothie? The culprit. Who has the mustache? Big CUNY. I, I like sharing food with him because it's nutritious too. There's all kinds of good stuff in it. We got kale and all that. <laughs> Do you like that little guy? Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Ma Bear's famous, world famous smoothie. I'm telling you guys, if you see her on the streets, you gotta try this. Oh, I am not messing around, it's so good. Watch people start chasing you down the street with like Greek yogurt and a blender now. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. It's kind of nervous. Why, well, you think he's gonna spray it all oh, over the place? He's, a, he's already doing it. Oh, he loves it. Oh, good boy. I feel like I'm talking to a dog all the time. Good boy, why don't you sit there, you little good boy? What a good boy you are. Or do people talk to dogs like they're kids? True, that's what it is. Really yeah, what am I doing? Am I talking to him like a dog or do people talk to kids like they're... Wait, talk to dogs? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to see what you've been teaching them all day. All day. This literally was just five minutes. Oh, fine. Dos manos, go. Dos manos, no, no, no. Go, little babe Ruth. Okay, you're holding it wrong, but that's okay. Go! Ready? Go! <laughs> Why did she come to wax you in the head? <gasps> wow, that's a home run! Woohoo! Woo Go! Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Woo Good job, dude! Oh, and he's also an outfielder? Holy moly! Can I try? No. <laughs> oh my. 
You're an outfielder, Taika. There's one right here. Okay, Mush. Good job. Come on. Good job, dude. This ready? is so cuny. Go. Go. Oh, <laughs> Why'd you go right into the TV and brace it? I know. Watch out. <laughs> go. Did you see it? Yay. Like Damn. That's awesome. Look. Look at his, look at his feet. Good oh, job. He pivots his leg. That's cuny. Watch. Go. Good job, dude. Ready? No, we're on wait. I see. Ready? Go. I see. You went backwards. I see. No. There is nothing quite like the taste of tradition. The, <laughs> the commercial is hilarious. I see. Go. Go. Dos manos. Dos manos. Dos manos. Dos. Go. I see. Go. 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 Ready? Ready? Oh. Yay! Wow, rapid fire. Go. <laughs> A little Go. punt. He's strategic with this. He's reading the field. He's reading Go. the field. <laughs> the TV's black. Go. The gentle. <laughs> He's tired. Yeah, he's tired. Good job. Taika, it's time to go to bed. Taika. That's cool. He's not scared of the dark. Taika. <laughs> time to go to sleep, mister. <laughs> what happened? His face. <laughs> How creepy would it be, though, to see his face? Don't say that. Oh, you promise? Yes. Come here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What the hell? Oh, fine. Come here. Come here, little guy. Let's go. <coughs> Taika. <coughs> Come here, monkey. I'm going to sleep now. <coughs> Do you want me to grab him? My bear? Huh? Do you want me to grab him? Oh, yes, please. He's coming. No. Let's go. Yeah. We gotta go to bed. Oh, no. It's bedtime. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's bedtime. Time to go upstairs. Time to go upstairs. You're coming upstairs? Yeah. You want to go to sleep? Oh, Let's yeah. go. Even though he's like... I'll bring these clothes up later. I always have wet clothes because, you know, I take a shower at uh, the office. So I always have a bunch of wet clothes in my backpack. But I just put it there for now. Damn, this guy's getting heavy. Oh, yeah. I feel like I see that every day. Oh, oh crap. Time to brush your teeth. Time to brush your teeth. Hello. Oh, that looks nice. Good job, Mama. Thanks. I'm not done yet. I need to add some stuff here because it's yeah. so plain and white. I need to get a pot or pot for that, and then yeah. something up here. We're gonna put something here. God damn, I think the skunk farted. That was really nice. Thanks, babe. Look at this. Look at this. Remember this lamp I bought? Yeah. My little duck feet. Oh yeah. Or bird feet. Yeah. Kitty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got boogers on camera. That's awesome. Lucky them. <laughs> and just like that, we put the little dude to sleep. He's sleeping all peaceful, <laughs> moving around. He loves touchy furry things. Oh, and there's Nadim and Ma Bear talking. Probably go over and over some vlog and channel stuff. But, um, yeah. He, Taika loves touching furry stuff when he's sleeping. It makes him feel so comfy. But yeah, thank you guys for following me throughout the day. Tomorrow we have another exciting day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.